work while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. John chapter 12 verse 35 Beware of not acting upon what you see in your moment on the mountain top with God. If you do not obey the light, it will turn into darkness. If, therefore, the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Matthew chapter 6, verse 23. The moment you forsake the matter of sanctification or neglect anything else on which God has given you. His light, your spiritual life, begins to disintegrate within you. Continually bring the truth out into your real life, working it out into every area or else even the light that you possess will itself prove to be a curse. The most difficult person to deal with is the one who has the prideful self-satisfaction of a past experience but is not working that experience out in his everyday life. If you say you are sanctified, show it. The experience must be so genuine that it shows in your life. Beware of any belief that makes you self-indulgent or self-gratifying. That belief came from the pit of hell itself. Regardless of how beautiful it may sound, your theology must work itself out, exhibiting itself in your most common everyday relationships. Our Lord said, Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 20 In other words, you must be more moral than the most moral people you know. You may know all about the doctrine of sanctification, but are you working it out in the everyday issues of your life? Every detail of your life, whether physical, moral, or spiritual, is to be judged and measured by the standard of the atonement, by the cross of 